Hello everybody and welcome to, what is this you may ask? Well, this is Windows 3.1. For the, uh, okay, that's right everybody, believe it or not, before Windows 95 there was this thing. It was called Windows for 3.1. It was a colossal piece of shit, but uh, there were <laughs> games made for it, so let's try one of them. An obscure I game I think from... I only started with 95. This is an obscure game from my childhood. Which is apparently based on an actual cartoon, but uh, I never actually managed to even find footage of the cartoon, so... I don't know. <laughs> wow. All right, time to go hyper. That's right. I'm a Oh my hyper god. Man. Oh. Uh... Uh, oh, that's not annoying. All right, let's get some backstory first. Don't worry. This game is fully voiced, so pay attention. Far away in the outermost region of hyperspace, Entrobe and his sidekick, Kid Chaos, await the day they can escape from their intergalactic containment warp and seek revenge on Hyperman. Prospects look grim until... <laughs> Alright, now animated cutscenes. That's right, they actually made animated cutscenes for this educational, even though it's an educational game. Hyperman! Whoa. Get you for this. And yes, that's Frank Welker as the bad guy. Bad, man. Thank you. Chaos, I told you to go. Your bad luck. I can't. We're locked up. Besides, hmm. it's just a coincidence that these things happen because I'm around. It's like a coincidence thing. Now, that's all. Just uh... a coincidence. Just a, just a coincidence. See? A coincidence! Well, that's okay. Con a convenient coincidence, I'd say. Yeah. Hyperman, Hyperman. Entrobes escape. Oh! Not Entrobe! Yes, Entrobe. The most dangerous thug in the universe and... Unfortunately, you're the only one who has ever been able to trap him. For some Sam? reason. Wait, that's right, I yeah. am. All right, Chief, how did an asteroid break that warp? It was supposed to be indestructible. That wasn't an asteroid. It was a mathematical meteor accidentally created by a teenage genius on Earth. Okay. Because I, that can okay. happen. I, because that can happen, right? <laughs> Just watch the PD. I guess somebody who's show had a lot of free time. Then again, considering this is a 90s cartoon, it's yeah, you can, uh, I guess that it was kind of a 90s thing to be nonsensical, I guess. That's it. The ultimate unifying theory. Sorry, teen genius, but your theory cracked an intergalactic containment warp and freed uh, how, the how most the, egotistical, like, the, the thought of someone can break reality itself. Yes, apparently he can. <laughs> Me. Okay. No. It's time to plunder! Just pretend we're watching a, a 90s cartoon, too. <laughs> sure, sure. We can still wear the spot. That's, pre that's pretty much what this is, actually. <laughs> it's such a gas. You're saying that animation is actually very good. I mean, never mind um, the... Yeah, for the time, the sure. Inco the inco and for, and for the system. Kind of guy? Yeah. Probably not, huh? You blew it, kid! <laughs> Chaos! Gotta go! Fast. <laughs> Chief, I'm on my way! Hold it! You don't know a thing about Earth! What? Is that a conversation it's, between it's, uh, it's, Hyperman it's, and it's, his chief are happening like this? Don't I don't know, I guess... Stylistic that choice, way. I guess. Anything uh, else? Yes. If oh wait, uh, here's a... Uh, I will have to destroy hold on, pay attention here, Earth Earth I think you'll like this. Entrobe can escape. And of course, your pension will be cut back. <gasps> My pension! <laughs> That's it's just time terrible. To go, Hyper! Just like Gumshoe. How did he ever get on the force? Well, you're the chief, you tell us. Oh, nothing could be weirder than that. You wanna bet, Emma? Yeah, but they're just calling for more weird things. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the? He can just transform into anything. Uh. I was wrong. This is weirder. <laughs> oh no, hold on! No way! I'm Hyperman! And I'm on the trail of a big green thug! He just left. <gasps> Wait, what's going on? Well, um, let me put it this way, kid. Uh, your planet's a goner. <laughs> well, Hyper. Watch out for that! Wall. Yeah. You better okay. come into my lab. Alright, now we're getting into the gameplay. Okay. 
So he uses pretty much the Good same style of um, hand drawn sprites oh, no, from uh, the um, King, like King's Quest Seven, Larry, 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 Larry Seven, yeah. some stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, we just have to find things Entrop likes and put them in the new intergalactic containment warp that was transported down onto your island. Oh, that must be okay. the I picked up in the meadow. But how do we find it? Basically, at the center of the island, the uh, Atman brought with him something that will help um, entrap Entro. Basically, you put things that Entro likes in it, and it traps him by some kind of scent, I guess. I don't know. They never actually explain sure. how that thing works. <laughs> well, it's got upload and download buttons that can digitize objects and transport them wherever you want. And of course, it can hypersize things. Hypersize? Okay. Oh, yeah. You can make things huge or... Okay, don't, first of all, don't ask me why the fuck is uh, uh, Hyperman right. speaking randomly in sound effects. I never understood that. Like, it, I, I, don't, I don't know. Hey, I just thought of something. Entrope told me he loves natural gas. We should put some in the trap. Nice. Yeah, that's a good idea, I guess. Yeah. But we're gonna have to yeah. find a lot more things that he likes. And we gotta do it fast. The fate of the world is in our hands. Oh boy, well time to take a nap. Hyperman! <laughs> sure. We're about to get started. Oh, right. I guess Captain Quark from Ratchet and Tank took lessons from this guy. Alright. Oh look, there's a lava lamp there here. We can catch it better. Okay. Not... Lava lamp! Good idea! That'll go great in Entrobe's trap. Yeah, apparently Entrobe likes lava. Um, basically, when, every time you find something that has that... Uh, oh, hold on. Cutscene. So let's see what's going on with Entrobe and Chaos. Hey, Entrobe! Look at me! Whoa, I'm surfing! <laughs> you call it surfing? This is floating! I want some legs! Hmm, bad breath. Uh, wait, <laughs> idea! Volcanoes erupt, let's wait until this one does, and then you can surf all you want! I hate waiting, you know that! But I do know how to make it erupt! Oh no, 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 there, there's no way I'm touching that thing! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll touch it, touch it. Yeah. This down now? Not yet. Oh, monkey. Yeah. <laughs> this bomb is hyper meddling by the subtle impenetrable eye shield. Meltable only with sunlight. It is fully equipped with this handy on and off switch with deluxe quartz timer. It is ideal for any sort of volcano blasting or in a pinch of taco. Who was that? Okay. Oh, yeah, he, he said, what? Yeah. Who was that? But then it, I guess they wanted to explain how bombs work for the kids, you know, the, the, as, and they made it as a I joke, I guess. Up to something. Really? Yeah. I never would have guessed. Well, that's why I'm Hyperman! Of course they're up to something. They're going to blow up the mountain to trigger volcanic eruption, and that could destroy the island. We have to stop yeah, them. Yeah, whatever. We have to stop them. How? Well, the only way under the volcano is an old mine shaft. All right, then that's where we'll go. Okay. Okay, basically the point and click interface doesn't work like a King's Quest game. It basically you just click on the hot spots and you'll and he'll they'll just go there automatically. This will okay. really brighten up the trap. Now all we need is a couple of throw pillows, a big screen TV. <laughs> Hyperman! Well, maybe we should just go drop this off in the trap before I think about totally redecorating. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So let's drop the lava lamp here. Okay. Alright. For the sake of getting the various uh, okay, reactions, I'm going to try to attract an intro with every single item that I put in there, even though I know that you, you, you can't quite tell it, but just for the sake of trying more. Didn't do a sure. Thing. Oh well, let's go look around for more stuff to lure intro with. Yeah, sure. Okay. Alright, now we're going to the volcano. Something. If we don't defuse the bomb, <laughs> the volcano's going to erupt and cover half the island with molten lava. Well, you are, yeah, she's right. You are a superhero, so I guess, yeah. Yeah, or you can just take your time, I guess. Oh, there it is. All right. Wizzle whackers, it's cold down here. That's because this bomb is encased in a solid block of ice. It doesn't matter what it's made of. We can't touch it or it will explode. Yes, 
Hello. Welcome back, Shiroi. Alright, basically, here's the story that you missed. Basically, Hyperman uh, came here to trap Entrobe. Um, an alien. An alien and shit. You know, that green blob we saw. Yep. And Emma here, she's the scientist who accidentally got him free with that comet. Basically, they're working together to try to trap Entrobe. Hmm. But while you were gone, Entrobe and Chaos were trying to surf on the lava, but they couldn't because there was no waves, so they were going to make the the volcano erupts just so they'll have waves to surf with. Yes, this, this don't 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 don't, don't take it seriously. This is clearly meant to be taken for uh, played for laughs. Obviously. <laughs> Well, it was just a guess. <laughs> okay, I think oh, we'll return okay. to the lab. Anyway, well, me, it's freezing down here. Another thing that you should know is that oh, okay, here it is. Okay, good thinking. Let's take that coal and put it in the trap. Okay, another thing we established while you were gone is that uh, Ent uh, Upper Man White, when he came here to Earth, he brought in a special uh, thing, uh, a special trap where is this thing right here? Basically, every time I find something that Entrobe likes, I can put it in here and then turn on the the trap. Basically, I guess. Somehow this trap turns things you like into some kind of aroma that attracts Entrope. Don't ask me how this works, they never actually explain it. So let's try, we have lava and coal. See if it works. Oh well, still no luck. Guess that's oh. just not enough to track that big green blob. Come on Emma, I sense more adventures ahead. Indeed. Alright, okay. so ba all right, so basically, Emma decided- Okay, so in order to get rid of that bomb, uh, Emma uh, pr uh, suggested that we go back to the lab, so let's do that. Maybe we can use my optical refraction experiment to bounce sunlight inside the mine shaft and melt the ice around the bomb. I've been experimenting with mirrors in an attempt to illuminate the inside of the mine shaft. I've mounted okay. a high-powered lens at the entrance to the mine shaft to direct the sunlight inside, and from there, using other mirrors, we should be able to aim the sunlight directly on the bomb. You can adjust the mirrors in the mine shaft from the remote control interface on my computer. Alright, so basically the point of this is to teach kids about uh, reflection and angles. So, but, but so for the sake of showing that off even more, I'm going to show the actual official uh, chalkboard uh, class uh, that Emma gives us to Apperman about this. Basically a way for kids to get Apperman. some... Context and how exactly reflections and angles work, so they can properly uh, stop the volcano from exploding. Okay. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. This means that whatever angle the light hits the mirror, it will bounce off at the same angle in the opposite direction. Exactly. Yeah, that that that, that, that trust me, that's actually enough to to get the mini game done. So let's do it. Okay. So sure, are learning yet? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! All right. Learning is fun. <laughs> Depends on how you do it, but anyway. Yeah. All right. Once you think the reflection path is correct, you can push the test button to activate the high-powered lens. All right. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show an alternate animated cutscene that happens when you when you fail uh, this mini game. Okay. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. Just cause I'm round doesn't mean I can't get down. Oh my God. That's so nice. <laughs> yeah. That didn't do it. Try and remember what I said about light, lenses, and reflection. Alright, now that I've actually do this properly. Okay. So does any can any does anybody know about light and uh, angles and reflections here? Uh, sort of. I have seen puzzles like these before. All right. Basically, we do we point that uh, mirror on, uh, on the top left uh, like that, and this one like this, and that should be enough. Test. There we Hopefully go. Hopefully, we won't blow anything Yay. up. Great going, Hyperman! You did it. Yay. Oh, that bomb went off. We've got to do something. No, Hyperman. The bomb was turned off. It didn't go off. I knew that. <laughs> oh, what happened? sure. Was I sleeping? No, that's the alarm. We should find Entrope on your PDA. All right, let's see what Entrope is up to now. Chaos! Fire! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Is this our for gym now? 90s, uh, too. 90s. 
Now you're probably wondering, Shiro, what the hell are they gonna do with so many cows? We'll, we'll, we'll explain in a moment, hold on. Okay. My diabolical plan is about to fall in place! Whoa, this is fantastic! Wow, that's great! Uh, what's the plan? Don't hurt your little pea brain thinking, Chaos. I'll do the thinking! Oh, good, because I was really afraid I was supposed to think of the parachutes. <laughs> no one. <laughs> <laughs> Great goo-ops, Emma, they've learned how to fly. No, no, they just used a catapult. A what? A catapult is a large propulsion device invented in the year 399 BC. The more you know, Shooting kids. Cows? No, dum, dum, we've got dum. to find out what Entrop's doing with all those cows. All right, it's time for me to come up with a plan. I know it, I know it. I'll turn myself into deep reek marsh gas and infiltrate the castle through the root system of the nearest Ripwop forest. Wrong planet. Yeah. Too bad. It would have worked. And <laughs> you shoot cows into the castle with that catapult. Why couldn't you shoot me? Hyperman, that might actually work. Really? Uh, oh, of course it will. Sure. <laughs> All right. So before, yeah, but, 90s, I guess. But, but before we do that, let's actually take a class on catapult. Propulsion and shit. Catapults were developed by Dionysius of Syracuse in 399 BC. They were used in castle sieges and to protect soldiers by throwing rocks that weighed up to 300 pounds. They could throw smaller rocks, those weighing 30 to 60 pounds, for distances of up to 450 yards. All right. Now we're going to, uh, once again, just like the volcano uh, part of the game, uh, this particular part of the game also has the possibility for you to fail if you take too long uh, entering the castle. So, for, uh, once again, I'm going to fail on purpose so I can show off the... The, the results. The, exactly. But let's try going just for the sake of showing things. I'm going to try to enter for the castle. We can't get in this way. We're going to have to figure something else out. The catapult! All right then. Catapult. Hyperman, okay. do you know how to use a catapult? Of course not. Uh -oh. I'll just kind of rush ahead and get thrashed. <laughs> <It's my laughs> okay, we'll wing it. But if you do make it in, you'll need to be in disguise. You know, camouflage. I'll do better than that, Emma. I'll use camouflage. Calmouflage. <laughs> sure. Get it? Calm. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Nice try. Maybe you should adjust no, the angle a little. Really? Alright, let's try adjusting it. There. Let's try now. Uh, Ooh. Uh, uh, Not quite. That probably hurt. Yeah, look. I've never seen a leg bend like that before. <laughs> I didn't actually think it was anatomically possible. <laughs> nice. All right. Once again, let's fail on purpose for the sake of humor. Ow. <laughs> Hyperman, I think you need a little more information on catapults. Maybe. Just one more. <laughs> so this is what they're doing. They're turning cows into methane gas. Just a few more Okay. Then we'll be ready to lift off and fill the atmosphere with billowing clouds of delicious methane gas. Oh. Why don't you just lose him on the planet and then move? Yeah. <laughs> Probably more Try. practical. Maybe Probably. But as we already established, Intro is not exactly the smartest type. Yeah. Right. Now let's actually succeed. We 
Yeah. Yeah. At last, I'm inside Entrove's lair. Something's up. I have a nose for these things, you know. Excuse me. Ah, I better hurry. Ah! Ah, I wonder what this is for. Uh, Ugh. I wouldn't do that. that back. Chaos! I thought I told you not to let any of the cows get near the balloon. Hey, you cow! The voice acting is also pretty fantastic if anyone misses on myself. Yeah. An ugly cow. For sure for the time. That's not a cow! That's Hyperman! Get him! It's too late! I have tricked you! Ha ha! <laughs> I love saying that! Everyone! Ha ha! <laughs> I'll get you from the or at the very least, add you to the smell of the month club! I wonder how you fly one of these things. Oh shit. Yeah. Hey, 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 this flying business isn't too bad. Thing I'm an uh, Yep, things are finally going perfectly. Okay. <laughs> Hyperman, hurry, you have to land the balloon in the meadow before the wind blows you out to sea. Uh, land? Land? <laughs> I don't know how to land this. I can only do the flying part because I just sat here. I mean, it's a balloon. It floats. <laughs> don't worry, I'll talk <laughs> to they you. They all float. All right, basically, I'm trying to land. Uh, it's kind of hard because you have to time it re to time the the vent control really well. All right, here's my first attempt. But then again, it's good that I failed the first time so I can show off the, the chalkboard. Uh, Emma, I uh, don't think I'm ready for this flying business yet. Uh, maybe you could explain it to me. You know, slowly, concisely, with pictures. Okay, Hyperman. <laughs> let's hit the office and check out my chalkboard. Yes, let's do that. Yay. Alright, so who here knows about um, air, uh, hair and, um, you know, balloon physics and shit? Um, I know it, it depends on the hot air or something. Yeah. Again, not an expert, sorry. Because the air captured inside the balloon is warmer than the surrounding air outside the balloon. Exactly. Okay, for the since Hey, hey, hey! The load and save screen! Great idea! Just save the game, <laughs> we'll play it later! Uh, if you want to keep going right now, though, hit the quit button and, uh, well, we'll return to the game. <laughs> <laughs> so let's save then. Pick a folder to save your game in. Alright. Basically, the reason I saved there is because, uh, again, that mini game is uh, the only- uh, the hardest one for me, so I always save. Uh, for the sake of trying again in case I mess up, because if I do mess up too many times, uh, the methane gas gets lost. And the, the reason we're trying to land the plane at the, at the center of the island is because, you know, like we established in the first in the, one of the first cutscenes, Entro loves methane gas, so it's one more yeah. thing. For, it's one more thing for the trap. All right, now that let's actually succeed. Okay, basically the way this works is. Uh, every time I increase the fuel control, there's more gas pumped into the balloon. Uh, and I can't let that meter in, in the top right uh, get all go all the way, otherwise the balloon the balloon will burst. Hyperman, okay. Oh, you've got to land in the meadow before en yeah, 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 I know, Emma. I know. Okay, so basically, those arrows obviously point to where the wind is um, blowing, blowing in which specific section of the the screen. So basically, it's a matter of keeping the balloon in a place where the wind will take me where I need to go. And the vent okay. control, every time I push down the vent control, the balloon starts uh, going down. So basically I have to time it well and make sure I land where, where the X is. Okay. So let's try this. Okay, that's a bit too low. Let's go ahead. <laughs> but I have to do it again because the balloon is being a dick. <laughs> there, there we go. Now it's now we actually succeed, and boom! Ah, there it is, a perfect landing. And now we'll have enough methane gas to get intro into that trap, Piper Man. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right. So this would really let's... brighten up the trap. Now all we need is a couple of throw pillows, a big screen TV. Hyper no, t no, Piper Man, no. 
Okay. You're not living in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. The trap is ready. There's no way Entrope can resist it this time. Okay. I'll tell you, Emma. This Entrope is one tough customer. I can't believe he resisted that. We gotta find more things he likes. Come Yay. Alright, everybody. And so, we'll do that exactly in the next part, where we'll finish the game. That's right, this is a short game.